my tripod is being really wonky so it looks as if my camera is sideways right now but everything okay this just doesn't matter i haven't done this in a while hi <laughs> oh my god what is up hi my name is jojo welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel let's get right into this video <laughs> oh my god what what's up like where has time gone oh my gosh it's been so so long since i recorded sat down did a video it's been about 10 11 months since i've posted anything oh it's so mind-boggling that i actually let, let that get to that point <laughs> but we're here now hi i mean as you can tell by the title of this video this is a full update of what i've been doing for the past year i've stepped away from youtube for a bit now only just to focus on what i wanted to do as well as just different things just coming about i'm back this is is an update video so if you aren't into a lot of talking and if you aren't really interested in my life this is for the girlies that have been there from day one and that are just nosy ew drama <laughs> just wanting to know what i've been doing and what i've been up to this is the video for you definitely subscribe if you aren't um i just wanted to chat about what i've been up to okay so this is the order that we we're gonna go we have kratos beauty event prados beauty event sorry sorry the Prados beauty event we had tuba city fair western navajo fair okay we also had new york fashion week <laughs> super excited to dive into that as well as special projects that i worked on that i'm very very excited i'm not gonna list it here next ones on this side is what i've been working on re pretty recently so i'm super super excited to talk about it navajo nation fair is always a dream my most viral videos on youtube were at navajo nation fair i mean i was there with the girls again jeff nicole and my sister qualin we did the parade which was really really fun i mean a lot of you guys as well yeah, Hey, we just made it to the fair and look at who I'm with. I picked up this girl, uh, Sebenito. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Drop that gallop by King Dragon Day. <laughs> Tonight is TI night. Ooh. Hey, hey. <laughs> night. ICP night. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say about ICP though. Shit. Oh. <laughs> hey, we got a rep. We got a rep. Hey. Yeah. We're with Navajo Petroleum. Hey. Fuck. Hey. Right there. Say aunties. Say. Oh, it's just awesome. windy. Do you think he'll let me in? <laughs> Do you think he'll let me in? Backstage. <laughs> oh. Megan, day. Nice. We made it past security. <laughs> Damn, we gotta start throwing elbows. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Hey. Long time. Hey. Megan's available. Hey. Hey. I'm a hot girl. Sweaty, all the aunties are all by us. Hey. Let's go home. Hey. Let's start a fight. Hey. You guys, you guys fight. Hey. 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 Where's Hunter Hayes? Hey. Hey. Quinn Sear. Hey. Still waiting for Florida. Hey. Sick, bro. We're here after hours. <laughs> I got invited to my very, very first makeup event. It was for Prados Beauty. We were on some rooftop in Phoenix, downtown. It was very, very luxurious. We dressed up all fancy, and by we, I mean me and the girls. And then the next day was Tuba City Fair. I mean, I went down to Phoenix by myself. It was my first solo like road trip ever. One thing led to another. I'm not gonna fully explain it. Let's just say all of them went on their own, but one thing led to another. I ended up driving six people in my five-person car. Ah! <laughs> yeah! 
Oh, cool. hi guys. Uh, we are on our way to Tuba, which is like three, four hours away, and we gotta be there. What time does it start? That maybe no. Damn. My ring broke. Over. Some lady tried oh. to jip him into buying a ring for 40 bucks when he yeah. found it for a dollar. Yes, and I got this for a dollar. No wonder why it was a dollar. It fucking ripped. A dollar? <laughs> a dollar? Oh, eight. 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 Make mine a, a strawberry go. shake. Can I, can I get a strawberry shake with that too? We don't serve strawberry shake. Alright, that's alright. <laughs> Who saw me seeing Jeremy run sprinting like oh, <laughs> Me? Oh, yeah, I was like, oh. Oh my, who's that fucking skinwalker? She left her height. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Run, she run got these nails. Oh. Oh. No, she has a Richard. Oh. 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 Girl, all those webs. Oh. We had a little uh, parade moment action. Hi guys, we are currently at the parade lineup. Currently in line to go out. It is 9 10. We are 47? 49? 49. 49. Y'all saw Miss Nicole here. We have Brandy. Say hello. Hey. And then we got Miss hey. Dario. Say hey girl. Hey, girl. Oh, hey. We have Miss Jeffy here. Yeah. And then we have Day Day here. Oh, girl. I'm eating the candy. I'm eating the candy before we even pass it out. Ew. Ooh. Cavities. Yeah. yeah. Hey, homeboy. Oh. Say hi. Yeah. If you guys are wondering, we got to Tuba at 3.30 last night. Drove all the way. I went to sleep right at 3.30. Woke up at 6.30. So I got a good like two and a half, three hours worth of sleep. I'm actually surprised that we're all in a good mood considering the amount of sleep we got. Two hours, bitch. Yeah. And we're going to do the parade. And then right after we have our TikTok event, I just got word that I'm going to be interviewing Randy Rogers band before they go out on stage like what i'd be like um are you top or bottom they i'm like are you dia they uh but yes i'm very very excited you guys and then we have like karaoke night then we have state line but i'll tell you guys later western navajo fair was a dream i got to do my first interview question mark i got to interview the randy rogers band don't know how that happened i listened to them growing up and i was sitting in front of randy rogers band just interviewing the man and i was like wow that is crazy western navajo fair was actually the first thing that got me onto a runway I made my modeling debut at Western Navajo Fair. It was very, very fun. I got to walk for a native designer. Shout out to KL! All because she was the one who pushed me to walk. Never would I have ever thought that I would have made my debut at Western Navajo Fair, but it all worked out because, I mean, one thing led to another. I became mutuals with people that I would have never thought I would have been mutuals with. I'm Scott Wabano. They're a native queer fashion designer. They made their fashion debut at New York Fashion Week and I got to walk for them. Good morning! Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I literally hung out with all the models yesterday as well as Scott. We went out to dinner and I had birria tacos. We went to a taco spot. Today is the show. Today is show day! Oh my gosh. Growing up, I wanted to see a native boy on the runway, especially in New York. I had such a big respect for New York Fashion Week and fashion ever since. So when I got hit with the opportunity to walk for Scott, his debut on New York Fashion Week, I was so honored and I am so excited to get to walk for an indigenous brand. I get to walk with all indigenous people all across Turtle Island and I'm glad that I get to represent the Navajo Nation in this. I am super, super psyched. I am super Super grateful. Oh my god, I am so excited. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh my goodness. Okay, I got all ready. I got the face done, the hair is done, and then I got my outfit on for today. Look at how good I look. Period. Uh, uh, I love the back part of this vest. We got the earrings from Jam's Native Creations, and then we got this vest that I got from Buffalo Exchange. I love it. Got the mock neck. I got this from Banana Republic. The pants thrifted, and I got these new boots that I got yesterday. But in the meantime, I'm ready and I am good to go. So 
Let me brush my teeth one last time and then I'll see you I'm going downstairs. Okay, bye bye. Uh, I got to walk for them. It was a huge honor and it was so, so cool. It was my first time to New York. It was my first time going to New York Fashion Week. Not only my first time, but as a runway model. I always dreamt of just doing that, um, but never would I have thought that I would have ever come across walking a New York Fashion Week runway, but I did. Still to this day, I thank Scott for everything that they do for the native space in general, and as well as the Two-Spirit community. I also went to a couple of concerts. I hold this concert so, so close to me, only because that day might have been the best day of my life. I'll just kind of explain it. This kind of ties into the project that I was working on. The day before I went to the Taylor Swift Eras Tour, not only was it the Taylor Swift Eras Tour, I went to the opening night the first show of the tour, and it was in Phoenix. But the day before that, I auditioned for um, a movie. I auditioned for the project Res Ball that's being made for Netflix and being produced by LeBron James's company. <laughs> I auditioned for Res Ball the day before. I have a whole thing that I know that I'm gonna produce whenever the project comes out. I'll do a full like story time on everything that happened, but right now I'm, I'm just gonna give you like a broad thing just for you to think about. Right before I, I saw Taylor Swift, I ended up getting the news. Um, I got the part. <laughs> yeah. And I celebrated by going to Taylor Swift and I watched three hours of Taylor Swift perform in front of my eyes, the icon that she is, and that leads to, uh, and I got the part for the Project Res Ball in the upcoming Netflix featured film produced by LeBron James's production company. And it was everything and more. I can't say a lot. Definitely check out the articles that are already out there. I watch the news outlets of stories, that, but of course, when the time comes, I will definitely do a full video because I did vlog. And, oh, this year has been very crazy. And Digifest was so fun. And Digifest happened in 2023. It was bigger and better. It, I met so many more people, so many new creators. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I was so honored that I got to be there as well as be a part of the first ever in Digifest. And just the love I felt, the love I felt from everyone, from being gone, from what felt like being gone for so long long and people just like stayed around and they were like cheering. I was like, ah! That leads up to the past couple of months that I've been doing my thing. I am officially signed and I am represented by an agency. Um, I'm part of the NTA talent agency fam, which I am agency sisters with my girls, Zoe Hodges. Yeah, I, I turned 20. On June 29th this past year, I turned 20. I'm officially not a teenager anymore, which is crazy because, I mean, you guys got to watch me literally grow up from 15 years old whenever I released my first video on YouTube. I'm so grateful that you guys got to watch me to where I'm at now. And not only did I turn 20, I did a thing. <laughs> I did a thing. I bought my first car. All in my name. Like, that was all me. I bought it on my birthday! My new car, their name is War Pony. Oh, it's so, so freaking cute! But yes, guys, that is what I've been up to for the past year. I'm super excited for what's to come because I have some things up my sleeve. For sure, I will take you guys along with me. In true fashion, would one of my cameras die while I'm in the middle of filming? Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really, really liked it. Definitely, definitely subscribe. If you aren't, I will be knocking out so much more content for y'all. Also follow all my socials. Oh, you see that there? Yesterday I just got done watching Barbie. Go watch Barbie and Oppenheimer in theaters because we are living in cinematic history right now. <laughs> thank you guys so much for putting up with me. Oh my God. Um, Yeah, thank you. Um, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.